Well, baby, I'm on it with a bottle of wine and an old jerk road. Are you ready to go if you want to? Okay. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today. Live Music Nation podcast. Pumpkin and Family Farm Edition. Today, we are with Sarah Aldridge. She's with the Rustic Roots Outdoor Events. I call it outdoor. It's just Rustic Roots Events. But Sarah, thanks for joining us. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Sarah, give us a little background on you. Where did you grow up? Talk just a little bit about your family and your career. So I grew up here at Lamont. Um, The farm that I have the pumpkin patch and corn maze on is actually my grandparents' farm. And so it's kind of been in the family for about 75 years now. Okay. So before though, my grandparents did a lot of actual farming. So like we did wheat and Milo and stuff. And when I started taking over, that's when I kind of converted into the agritourism stuff. So. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's jump in. Let's jump into the farm. When people, uh, when people get out of their cars, walk through Mm -hmm. the gates, what are they going to see? So the first thing you see is going to be a huge display of pumpkins where we have like our general store, our little gift shop area and all the pumpkins and everything. And then they see probably one of the best things is just when you drive down our road, you kind of have to come up a hill and then back down to get to the farm. And so right when you crest over the hill, you see this giant hay fort. That's one of the things that we just, we really try and go over the top on. So like last year, our, it's made out of round bells and we had over 300 round bells in it last year. <laughs> so it was a little obnoxious, but um, uh, this year, thankfully last year we had that drought come in. And so this year we have the corn maze again. So we don't do irrigation out here, which is kind of right. the bummer part of it. But, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Now, listen, we always got to talk about food because people are going to spend a lot of time there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What foods are they going to smell? What are they going to? What's going to be in the air besides besides corn in fields and maybe animals? <laughs> what are they going to smell? Um. So, probably the first smells are uh, going to be popcorn. Obviously, there you have you to. Have, that's a staple. So one of the um things that I love is having it. You know, like the old um, Norman Rockwell kind of fair pictures. Like when you look at that picture, yep. That um. That's what I want my farm to be like. So I want the, the smell of kind of an old time fair. So we do food wise, we have like, we make our own chili and we do like the pretzels and the hot dogs and stuff. So during the festival, so we have a festival every year. That's when you're going to have even more of the smells of food, which is going to be any of the, the food trucks that we bring in. So we try and get at least one of every different kind of food you can from barbecue to the cotton, you know, the smell of sugar, the cotton candy and stuff like that. So. Yep. Yep. Very That's, good. Yeah. All right. Now, what other activities do you have going on there through the season? So we're only open in the fall. So during the fall season, we have a barrel train, we have petting zoo, we have the hay fort, we have a mini maze, we have hay rides. Um, one of the, I mean, I, I spend quite a bit of time on like the photos. So something that you always look at, you may look at those photos and uh, you're like, oh, I want to have this, like something that I've really noticed this season. Everyone wants that, that drink of apple cider with that apple cider donut on top. That's what they want to feel that Mm. smell and that taste. And you just see a picture of it. And so they're already having all these feelings that's what we are trying to do out here with that stuff. So I'm, I'm trying really, really hard to just give them those photo ops and stuff. So when they look back, they're going to remember that feeling and those smells and everything else they have. It is. It's huge. It, it, is, mm-hmm. it is where it's at for sure. Okay. So I got to ask this next question, Katie. What? Wait, excuse me. I called you Katie, Sarah. I apologize. We'll edit that out. That's fine. Um, what, what's your passion behind this? Why well, keep doing it? It's a ton of work. You know it is. It's long hours. It's brutal yeah. sometimes. Sometimes yeah. it's hot. Sometimes it's rainy. I'm sure there's days you don't want to be out there. Why keep doing this? Uh, I mean, 
why uh, my one, my family. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I love getting to be a stay at home mom. So I make it to almost every event that my kids ever have, except during like specific times during those five weeks or seven weeks were open. And so for me, it's for my kids. And then secondly, I mean, it, it all reverts back to the, those movies or those, those things that you see that you absolutely, you can feel the, like something is being made history almost. And maybe this isn't history, but it's going to be a part of someone's life forever. So those memories that you can help create for these people that they're going to look back and they're going to be like, do you remember when we used to go to that one pumpkin patch and this is what they had and this is how we felt. We get to be a part of these people's lives forever. Mm -hmm. And so I love the thought that I can help create those memories. I think that's amazing. No, that is, that is definitely amazing. Well, Sarah, um, how do people find out more information about you? What's your best source of information for them? Um, probably my Facebook page. And then of course my website, those are the two things that we have the most. So it's uh, rustic roots events at, um, dot com. And then, uh, the Facebook, I try really hard to just keep posting, whether it's a picture of what, like how the corn is doing or how the sunflowers are doing, especially closer to time. Like right now, I still just do little blips of what's happening on the farm and stuff, but, um, really during season, if you can continue on my Facebook, that's how I can do weather and everything else. Okay. Very good. Well, thank you so much for being on with us today and good luck in your season. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Well, baby, I'm on with a bottle.